Hey guys, welcome back into Project Zomboid. <clears throat> this is my season 10, game version 41, with Jono, half past eight in the morning. Richard, you old lazy bastard. I thought we set our alarm to go off at 0600. Hmm, it keeps being naughty. Um, we need to clean our bandages. All good. Let's check our bandages. Oh yeah, yeah, dirty. Hmm. We could disinfect it one more time. I don't know why we're wasting all of our disinfectant things though. We've only got one more cotton ball dousing alcohol left. These things are precious. Um, in my experience, and I'm sure I had it confirmed at some stage, but cotton balls dousing alcohol is the best thing to disinfect your wounds with. So better than alcohol wipes, better than straight up alcohol or whatever. Apparently it's the best thing to use. I don't know if that's still the case. If anyone can correct me on that, then please do so. And we are going to indulge ourselves in a little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit of, how many matches have we got remaining over here? Maybe none? Okay. We're going to indulge anyway <coughs> in um, this is going to run out soon. In fact, we'll take an empty bottle with us because we can fill that up when we're out and bring it back. Um, if I can finish my goddamn sentence, what we're indulging in today is a little bit of... Um, Eating mixed vegetables, putting away kitchen knives and bowls, patching up the window with a metal sheet for shits and giggles. Do we have a metal sheet? Um, drinking some cider. <sighs> yeah, we have two. There we go. Oh, God damn, that's good. Mm. Oh yes, that's the strong stuff as well, so that's patched up, this is patched up, can we add metal to it as well, barricade metal sheet, there we go guys, we have to put the welding mask on, we have to kit ourselves up, or do we just have to have it in our inventory, oh nice, look at that, No, just have it in the inventory, I suppose. Barricade metal sheet. Oh, I bastard. One thing at a time, Richard. That was nice and quick. Uh, oh, okay, plant information. Healthy, watered. Info. Good. Water level's dry. We are not going to waste our water. I can't remember if we had a kettle in here anyway. We're going to put all the metalworking stuff away. We don't need it right now. Uh, <laughs> don't need the metalworking book anymore. What do we have here? Propane torch. Away, away with you. Uh, we don't really need the nails with us. <coughs> Tweezers can go back in. I suppose it's worth taking those. I think we're going to be bold and leave... Oh, that's it. That's all that thing can take. I'm going to say we'll be bold and leave everything here. <coughs> so we need more storage capability then, don't we? Um, is what we need. Have we got any way to smoke our cigarettes? Requires matches or a lighter. So we we'll take that with us. Ooh, uh, and this is crunch time. We're gonna go out, kill some zombies, loot some more stuff. 2.9, now we're talking. Wicked. 
Right. So, it's rather late in the day. <clears throat> Let's take the sledgehammer. It's a big old thing to take with us. In fact, let's not take the sledgehammer. Let's see what we can access without the sledgehammer at first, okay? But we are going to run for a bit and then stop. This game, um, you used to be able to sprint for ages on Project Zomboid without much in the way of penalties and stuff, but now it's pretty tight, pretty strict. Mm. Oh, goodness me, that is quite delicious, quite delectable. Oh, yeah. <sighs> mm. So we're going to make um, <clears throat> a crossing over here. The day is bright and full of wonders. Richard is rocking the main stage as per usual. Gunshots to attract undue attention towards us. And I think this calls for uh, another drink. So just bear with me. <clears throat> because I think it might be an appropriate course of action. Oh, but we have no bottle opener. So what do we do? Well, we certainly don't give up. That's for damn sure. We see what we have available to us. A can of Lynx deodorant will do the job without it exploding into our face. And there we have it. Good old Lynx Africa. That's the shiz right there, guys. I tell you, no other Lynx will do. Crikey. You don't want to drink too much of this stuff too quickly, I'll tell you that. We'll end up like this bird down here. Or the man child, whatever it is. Yes. Don't look at me. We never did explore upstairs because it was a bit perilous to do so, if I recall. Was it three stories high? <coughs> Interesting noises. But essentially what we want to do, what we ought to do is just come across the way and just check out what's going on over here. You know, <clears throat> we deserve to know, don't we? Ah, uh -huh, looky, looky, <laughs> looky, looky, Richard Ricardo. What is this? Did they used to say his name at the top here? Oh dear, oh dear, you've stu you've gone a bit far, Richard. A bit too much. Dun, 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 Dun 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 We will have our way. We will try and pick up a vehicle as well. trails everywhere regardless of, of their military boots ladies and gentlemen thank you we'll have some of that 
My chill is getting upgraded. Whoop whoop. Surely we had some footwear, yeah, that we're going to let go of. A suit jacket, yes, yes, very nice. Bread knife, yes, yes. Hard hat, a one black shirt. More military boots. Someone made a noise there. Richard, can you make a noise? Ooh. So we've got some, some boys on the job, some workmen who we had to to take to school. Little satchel. Oh, this must be the foreman. Yeah, of course. The foreman with his little tie and satchel. Didn't do him any good, did it? inspecting the cars when there's there's much more viable things to to go and look at let's have a smoke shall we and while he does that I'll have a drink oh yes boots mm. more cigarettes I suppose we could take them I mean we are a smoker after all we will eventually run out um, I do hope that we continue to uh, strive and survive because we are doing rather well. T-shirt coveralls apparently are a good one to practice uh, tailoring on. And bootsies, workman shirt, bootsies. Baggy jeans. Let's wear these instead because our ones are probably horrid, right? They're probably covered with blood and piss, yeah. Hmm. Right, so we're in a work. Oh wow! Oh wow! Look at all those. I thought we. I thought this was like a self-storage area. We don't really need to go in there at all, do we? There's no reason for us to be in there. I don't really like the way that these doors frantically shake. What? What is it? No, I don't like that. Duct tape. What's going on? Is that like a squelching noise as we walk around? You make more noise when you walk around in these kind of boots. <sighs> Welding rods are quite heavy. There's so many metal sheets here. I mean, we could take a bunch of these back home, right, and, uh, and get to town on fortifying the house, but the aim of the game, surely, is looking out for lovely little weapons do we need I don't know if we need safety goggles we did in hydrocraft let's take them just in case because they weigh almost nothing let's fill from here everything oh my god I'm 
I'm going to be wankered on this Thatcher's Vintage Cider, 8.3%. Jesus Christ. I'm going to be absolutely frothing at the frothing at the chaff. Oh, 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 inland revenue. <laughs> Oh, another, uh, no, condition, yes, um, another weird one, this bloody antique oven keeps appearing, doesn't it? <laughs> right, what have we got in here then? Oh, look. Wow, there's so many like metal sheets and planks and stuff. We could have a bloody field day barricading ourselves in here. We've got about a million screwdrivers. We don't have to ever worry about knives and stabbing weapons. Concrete powder, all sorts. How are we doing, OBS? Are we getting this? Yeah? Jolly good, sir. No, don't give me Discord. Oh, watering can, we'll take that. And we'll take the empty bucket because these things are going to be useful for collecting uh, rainwater, guys. Um, and now that the power's gone out and the water's going to go off, that's actually not a bad shout. <laughs> Wood axe. Oh fucking yes but interestingly interestingly guys the pickaxe oh the damage is not so good the wood axe has a ridiculously high damage oh my days oh my days alive look at the wood axe behold Richard behold your prize your trophy oh. <laughs> Let's take some shovels, but the shovels are becoming strangely obsolete. I want you to source more machetes, more, more goodies, Richard. We can there can never be enough. You understand me, son? Right, where were we up to anyway? done all this row, haven't we? There we go. Garden hoe, I don't think we need that. Mm -hmm. I love this. I love this. It's like it's like being in a fucking sweetie shop, isn't it? You're like, well, what should we take from the sweetie shop, guys? You know. <laughs> shovels, more screwdrivers, it's becoming obsolete. Mm. This is dope on stilts. I mean, we could reasonably start to construct. Thank you for the wood glue. We could reasonably start to construct a load of like, metal sculptures. Um, and, and level our oh maron oh maron <sighs> what happened to the other axe I mean a wood axe is great right look at the damage on that sucker oh Ooh. 
Oh, yes, sir. But look at that. Is that not just absolute loveliness? We have struck it big. We can still die instantaneously, you know, don't get me wrong, guys. But this, this is the moment of revel. This is the moment of glory. This is the moment where we don't even need to go to any more of these crates. We've got two wood glues. Wood glues are so good because they're basically like another half an axe, you know. You find a tub of wood glue and it's going to repair your axe. Oh, my God. Goody, goody, godness. <sighs> I'm ecstatic. I, I am elated. We have more than enough to carry back and, and, and celebrate our victory. Let's just have a look, shall we? What else have we got in here? More, more wood glue, Richard. For its relative weightlessness, Wood glue is never to be ignored, Richard. You know this, man. <laughs> Coincidentally, it is Friday today. Well, today is Friday in my real world days. Um, and that is a quote from Friday. And you know this, man. And now we're feeling overconfident. We're going to open up the door and try and kick ass and take names. Oh, right in the skull sack. Oh. <laughs> Don't be tippy toeing up in here, motherfucker. <laughs> Richard has got a small arsenal and he is about to crunch everyone's dicks in. The tables have turned, zombies. Uh, the tables have turned, motherfuckers. Richard's packing. He's packing, but, 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 but he's hungry and he's encumbered, so, ooh, he's going to shy away a little bit. Because, uh, we have to focus on many, many things in Zomboid, many facets, many dimensions. And I am just elated. We have found something even better than the pickaxe, although I really like the feel of the pickaxe. I really do. I think pickaxe appeared in like Hydrocraft, but I don't think it was as a weapon, but you know, you see now it's beautiful. If anyone's read World War Z, don't, for God's sakes, don't watch the film. Do not do that, but do read the book. But if you've read the book, it's fascinating. Um, and it's kind of like you think to yourself, well, a zombie uh, event, apocalypse, whatever, is pretty pretty out there. It's pretty unbelievable. It's pretty unrealistic. But the way that World War Z is written, or World War Z, whatever, um, it's written in an incredibly realistic way. The film Dust Devil was the same thing. The attention to detail in that film, man, um, it, the realism, and when you contrast that with something like, you know, Alien 4, you know, you just think, geez, geez, you know, it's gone beyond the point where the director of, of that latter film should, ought to be ashamed of themselves because they did, they couldn't give a fuck, right? They they, they don't care. <laughs> they don't give a shit, right? Oh, yeah, this, this, yeah, well, we'll just, you know, you come in here. Oh, in the previous films, it doesn't matter that, you know, the, the film was like one and a half hours of the aliens stalking people and, and they had to be really super careful and one wrong move, they died. No, 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 no. In this film, like the one guy, he just pick up a, a tennis ball and, and, and hoss it up into the air, and it bounces off like five things, and it hits a button, and the button causes acid to come down, and, and it kills the alien, and he and he just puts his feet up and has a fag, you know, and uh, and, and has a wine and cheese reception. <laughs> uh, well, you, you you get the drill. You get the drill. You get the. You get the idea. I'm, I'm elated. Uh, you can tell I'm excited. I'm doing my whole spin around, you know, sneak and spin. We don't even need to do that. We can just walk home. We don't need to do that. We can just walk home. I'm worried because we're, we've got heavy load and we're hungry, but I'm also excited. Uh, and we can actually eat this. I think we can eat all of this. 
Não é? There we go. Moist. Moist is a word that's not well received in the workplace, I've found out. Um, I've been going into some of the workplaces that I manage um, <clears throat> to receive complaints that the, the word moist apparently is banned, right? That people aren't allowed to, to say it because other people take offence to it. It just seems odd to me. <clears throat> but then I'm quite a sweary person, so, you know, moist doesn't really mean anything. Or, or um, I, I, I completely lack sensitivity, perhaps. So be it. <laughs> Deal with it, rock and roll. <laughs> Ooh, leather jacket, hey? I'll be taking that, thank you very much. Cheers, Yosi. And yeah, I think we're going to have to get busy with uh, with tailoring and stuff soon, right guys? Because it, it's, it's getting that way. We need to um, read tailoring, volume one, which I think we have. And we need to start stripping these arseholes down of all their clothes and ripping them up into bits. <coughs> and then burying them in a hole and pissing on them. I'm thinking... I am the Lizard King. <laughs> Richard, I like your new jeans, bruv. They suit you well, sir. Let's get another bloodied, worn leather jacket up in here. And I can't believe that we've found the nectar that is the wood axe. Right, ah, uh, empty bucket and watering can are going to go outside. They can go outside to gather. Interesting. And we have additional military boots. We have all that stuff. I'm torn because we still have some stuff back at home home. But I think the journey back home home is, is, is somewhat perilous. But the situation we have here is somewhat cushy. So it's, it takes some consideration. Shall we have a shave to celebrate? Shall we have a shave to celebrate? So where are we? Be a bit scruffy. Change that. Hang on. Aha! He's got the razor. Oh, nice, bruv. There we go, full beard. Scissors. Well, we have scissors, but I'm not sure if I'm ready to take that step. I'm just not sure about that right now. You know, I'll probably get rid of all of these screwdrivers. Oh my gosh, such a nice position to be in. Position more. Oh. My gosh, we've got a pickaxe, we've got a second pickaxe, and we've got two wood axes. That is a very, 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 very healthy spot to be in, ladies and gents. And we are rocking the main stage here. <laughs> and we're drinking thatches. It's going to my head. And uh, unfortunately, we have come to the end of a very, a very nice episode. But uh, I thank you very much for being with me. Thank you very much indeed. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, I hope you have a great day or evening and a great week. And I will see you in the next episode where hopefully Richard continues to live and continues to exercise his right to get an erection. Take it easy, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>